been tryna play it easy I'm tryna play it cool and I've been thinking you ain't fucking But my bro say I'm a fool and I swear that you're so lucky I swear that shit's so true because these bitches be up on me And I end up wanting you on Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this haircut. I am so excited because none of my natural hair is out. So this is a very protective style and I feel like you guys should try it out. Today's wig is in collaboration with Julia Hair. I am loving this wig. It's so nice and fluffy and I literally can flip it back and forth. I have none of my hair out because I positioned the V part in a way where it's not going to show any of my hair and it's going to look natural as possible. So stay tuned to this video so I can show you exactly what I did. But before I get into this video, I'm going to show you a clip on some stuff that came in the packaging. They did provide a couple of clips. I did not get to use the clips, but they're just regular duckbell. Some fluffy mink lashes. And they also just put a wig cap in here I did end up using a wig cap today so that's very essential for you to have in the packaging so you don't have to like feel like you're rushing to go and find one and they gave me a little headscarf so yeah let's get right into this video I'm gonna show you how I laid the, the wig down so it can stay in place and I also showed you how I got this I'm looking kind of crazy because I cut my hair actually this is how the wig is looking it's literally giving my texture so natural i actually never had a wig like this before at all like this kind of kinky texture and i'm living i'm gonna go ahead and just slap it on my head this install should be relatively quick i'm gonna put on the cap okay this is just gonna help my hair to stay flat and this is the cap i'm gonna just bust through the cap because y'all i'm putting my hair like that right in front so you just want to have your hair kind of like this and then I'm going to put the wig on my head. And also, I feel like this wig is big head friendly because I'm going to put it on my head and look how much it goes down to the front. I'm putting it at the back of my head. And it's stretchy. So if you have a bigger head, it's stretchy. Look how far it can go down. So it definitely is going to fit you. I'm just going to unbuttle the clips because I'm going to dig the clips into this wig cap. I'm gonna put them close together very very close together kind of almost overlapping each other and if it's not overlapping just unclip it and clip it again just until it kind of overlaps okay boom so you could just see like that little thing but we're gonna cover that up because I'm doing like a, a bang type look so for me, you're gonna take the whole front section right here. So you wanna get your scissors and I'm gonna first do the first chop right under my chin. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just trying to get like a layered look going. So I want it to stay this length, it's right here. So I'm gonna section it in half. I section it in half make sure you kind of smooth it out a bit pull it to the top of your head and just pull it over and cut off the ends that look straggly I'm going to give the top a little bit more definition I'm gonna go ahead and do right here more like my mouth Section it off more to the top. And then cut like this. You can almost see the difference already between this side. This side and this side. This side is more like that and this side is more lifted. okay so this is how it's looking but take these combs and kind of stick it in so that's gonna help the wig not move around so I want to just wet, wet down the hair 
Okay, so I'm gonna put all the hair up, put it to the top of the head, and once it's at the top of my head and it drops down here, I'm gonna cut it to under my chin. So I'm gonna cut off this much hair. This much hair. Okay, now I'm gonna do it in half. Make sure that it's nice and brushed out. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this one by my nose. So that's this much. Oops. And I'm just going to cut it right here. Okay. So I cut this much hair. So now the last section is here and I'm going to cut it to here. Okay. The bottom has like these straggly ends so I'm just going to clean it up. For me, I'm using the As I Am leave-in conditioner. That's going to make sure that the moisture stays in the hair. I'm using about this much because child, this is expensive and I'm going to distribute this all over the hair okay I'm gonna do it in sections because if I don't do it in sections that's just going to mess up my vibe I'm gonna put some of this elastic hair gel this is my favorite gel to use in curly hair you can find it at your local beauty store or just search on Amazon I'm gonna link the Amazon link down below I'm gonna put about this much to the ends of the hair because I want this hair to have volume so I'm putting it to like the middle and the end and I'm just gonna brush that through and then give it a curl literally that's all I do it's gonna look kind of straggly in the ends but that doesn't matter by the time it dries we can give it some volume Okay, and since we're doing a bang, you want to you want to make sure that the hair is coming towards your face, not away from your face. So you want to brush the hair going this way cuz it's going towards your face, okay? That's going to give you that curl. You see that? Okay, so now I'm going to do the bang area. And for the bang area, you want to do the whole thing because you want this to be the most like defined because you could fluff it up later and go under and like that. Where are you going? Nowhere. Right now, I'm just gonna leave the hair to dry, to air dry, and once it's about, let's say, 85, 90% dry, then I'm gonna come and use the, the diffuser to give it some volume. But I mean, you could use the diffuser lightly to help dry the hair as well. I think I'm gonna do that, but I'm just gonna clean up here first and then do that. And also, before I diffuse the hair, I'm gonna use my Care Care Silken, Sheet, Silken Seal. It looks like this. This has been my favorite thing recently. I recommend that you get it. It literally gives your hair this the most beautiful shine. It also pr protects it from heat and all this stuff. I'm gonna spray this on top of the hair. And then I'm going to diffuse. So I get my SH rated hair blow dryer from Amazon. It comes with a diffuser attachment. You can use it on hot air or cool air. Just make sure you're going like this and that's not going to give it any volume We're, we want to intentionally give it volume so let's do it like that 
most people think that the diffuser is gonna make your hair frizzy but it's not okay i'm gonna leave the hair to dry the rest of the way by itself and then i'm gonna come back and show you guys the results okay now that the hair is relatively dry i'm gonna use this for volume i'm putting it on high heat and i'm pushing it up I'm gonna wait for it to dry a little bit more and then I'll come back. It's still a little bit wet right back here, so I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. Alright, so now that it's at now that it's at this stage, I'm gonna go ahead and use this big comb to kind of poof it up and make it a little bit higher at the top. I love big hair, so I don't mind it being big, okay? But I'm just fluffing the roots. I'm just fluffing the roots, nothing else. This is basically the look. I'm not really going to do anything else, but if you wanted it to be a little bit shorter, you could have cut it like to here. So yeah, this is how the hair turned out. This is how the cut layered the hair. I am loving it, to be honest. And this is the back side. It's very big and full, so I will have Julia hair links down below so you guys can check them out. And I will definitely see you in my next one. Bye! Bye.